Close your eyes, focus on the breath. Train the mind to stay here. This is an important principle. It may want to wander off, but you don't want to let it wander off. Because you're trying to develop good qualities inside, and that takes some work. It takes some determination. You want to be mindful. In other words, keep in mind the fact that you want to stay with the breath, and you want to be alert. Alert to what's going on when the mind is wandering off, and if it is wandering off, bring it back. And in training the mind this way, you're training the most important part of life. Because everything has to come through the mind. It comes out of the mind, comes back through the mind. The mind filters everything. And if the filter is bad, if the, the original impulse was bad, then you really got some bad stuff to deal with. So you train the mind to develop good situations around you. And even when the situations aren't good, you learn how to deal with them in, in a way that doesn't cause you any suffering. That's a trained mind. Because an untrained mind can take even good situ situations and turn them into something bad. So you want to make sure the mind is well trained in all, all your activities, whether you're speaking or acting or thinking. Whatever you're doing, you want to ask yourself, okay, what's the state of the mind right now? Because things come out of the state of the mind, and the state of the mind determines how things come back in, how you read them, how you experience them. Like they say that the results of past bad actions are like a big lump of salt. If your mind is like a little narrow cup of water, then you put that big lump of salt in it, you can't drink the water. But if your mind is like a wide open river, in other words, you have goodwill for all, you have compassion, you have empathetic joy, you have equanimity for all, then the result, results of past bad actions come, and they don't have that big an impact. It's like taking a, that same lump of sugar but putting it into that large river. The water is still drinkable. So the state of your mind really determines everything. So you want to make sure the mind is well trained to keep it in a good state at all times, regardless of what other people do or they say or they think. Regardless of what happens around you, regardless of what's coming up inside the mind itself, you want to keep the mind on an even keel. You want to keep it clear. You want to keep it mindful and alert so it doesn't cause any necess unnecessary suffering for itself. So this is why we have to train the mind. We have to train it every day. We train it with virtue. We train it with concentration. We train it with discernment. We train it with generosity. All these things are for the purpose of training the mind so that it learns how to be skillful and how it deals with things. And if the mind is skillful, then wherever you are, there'll be happiness inside. Whatever the situation outside, the inside situation can be really pleasant and easeful because you've taken care of the most important factor in your life. 